DIY for and things look very boring today. Uh, these are fresh, newly painted walls. I'm in a new apartment, I've officially moved, and I am in the midst of still unpacking everything and actually decorating the place. So I promise it won't be this boring forever, this is just temporary. Uh, also, I did mention last uh, video that I wanted to know if you'd like to know what my whole process is like moving into the place, decorating it, making it my own when it is a rental property. And I did get a pretty good response with that, so that video will be coming, but down in the future, just because this is going to take a little while to put together. In the meantime, I do have a DIY for you this week, super budget friendly. I picked up clothespins from the dollar store and transformed them into a couple of different things, decor piece and also a functional piece for your kitchen. So this DIY is very affordable. This was $1.50 per package at the dollar store and 36. So one package does one DIY today. I'm just separating my clothespins here. They come apart real easily. You don't need the springs, so you can toss those, but keep the wood pieces. The first thing I'm going to show you is kind of like the hot plate. And basically you flip the clothespins around and they make a shape like this. Now you can go in a whole circle. I extended mine into kind of this S shape because I wanted it to be elongated so I I could uh, use it for longer, you know, casserole dishes or something. Now I'm using wood glue as opposed to hot glue because I thought when you put a hot plate on it, the glue might kind of melt like hot glue would and wood glue would hold better. So I glued each and every one of those pieces together before I glued those pieces then together to form this shape. And again, that was one package of clothespins. Okay, now this is the underside. To add, to kind of make this a little bit stronger, I added glue all the way along the bottom in two different locations, but this will also double as a, kind of like a little stopper. If you put it on your table, it's not going to slide around. Next, I have uh, this old mirror from a different DIY project, and I'm close. I'm putting some of the clothespins on it to kind of make a starburst mirror. Now, I did quarter it out like this, but I actually wouldn't suggest doing that because these clothespins aren't all exactly the same size and I found that uh, I had to tear up a few of them to make sure that they fit all together properly but try and get them really tight and space out the part where they fray out very similarly so you could stop right here if you like this look I wanted to extend mine a little bit more so I added some more clothespins in between each little gap there on the back side and I extended them a little bit longer so they don't get glued down in the same location as the other ones but they get glued down rather on top of those again just using some hot glue here so this is what it looked like when I was pretty much all finished. I did finish it off with some paint. I chose some gold paint around the exterior and you can see that little groove in there. That's actually where the spring sat. So I used that as a guideline for my gold paint. I then went with just a wood stain that I had at home and painted that on. And I made sure to make sure that those uh, grooves were left not painted or stained because I went back with some white paint to add a little fine detail. And around the exterior part, I went in with a black sharp to make it black there. So I styled these things all together even though the uh, first project is technically a hot plate it can absolutely be used in the kitchen like you see here uh, but I also think that it looks kind of cool to use as a decor piece. with how that turned out specifically the mirror because it was kind of something that I saw online and I thought I could recreate it and I don't even think it looks like I made it with clothespins maybe that's just my opinion let me know what you thought of both of these DIYs I also love how the second one kind of turned into more of like a decorative piece or at least you can decorate with it as well I think it kind of looks cool aesthetically but originally it was intended to be a hot plate which it absolutely will work for you in the kitchen now, if you do try out any of these DIYs, I'd love to see what they look like. So you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, at Janelle Steeper, and just tag me in those photos so I can check out your DIYs and what you're making at home. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Despite the fact that I've moved and things are a mess in this new place, I'm still going to have videos for you every single Wednesday. And a lot of the upcoming DIYs are going to be apartment themed. So um, new decor pieces for my place. I'm going to hopefully be refinishing some furniture and share that process with you and a few functional pieces as well. So um, I will talk to you again next Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.